All right, so how do we relink images in Adobe InDesign? Hopefully we can fix their bad file. And there we saw Flycheck speedily rip through that file and tell us what are potential problems, problems, or what's okay. And we see right away we have some missing images. Quick and easy way to get an InDesign from Flycheck is via the page layout. So here I can see the various missing elements and I can click launch document and boom we're right up with an Adobe InDesign. Now we're inside the file right in InDesign. Now I don't need FlightCheck to relink images in InDesign so how do I do that? How do I relink images within InDesign? Well now that we're inside InDesign we see that images are missing. Let's show you how to do that. This document contains links to sources that have been modified. You can update the modified links now or update them later using the links panel. And that's basically um, images in this case. Right? So we see five missing links, one modified link. So if we go to the update links panel, you know, we can see, you know, your color, your pages, you see the whole document in, in, in small, so to speak, and in detail. If we click on links, we get here a whole bunch of information. We see that this logo, this EPS, is missing, the Marksware logo. We see this one is also missing. We see that by the question mark here, and we read double click to relink. Now, before I double click, what I want to do is hold down the Option key. Uh, on the Macintosh, that's the Alt key. Uh, on, a, on a lot of the computers, uh, portables, on the MacBook Pros, the Alt or Option key. If I hold that down and double click, I can then go in and search for these for these missing images. In this case, I'm looking for the PDF to DTP hyphen logo dot PDF. Now I happen to know where these are because I'm the designer here, so I can find it. Right, navigate to that folder. And there it is. So now when I click open, search this relink directory and found and relinked four missing images. So now not just one, but all four of the images were updated. Now in the case of one customer uh, where I'm kind of making this video for right now, although I've been asked this many times, they had 600 or something images missing and they kind of panicked. How do I relink those automatically or quickly? Well, you see it's quite easy. If they're all in the same directory, InDesign will find them automatically because the information is there in the file and will relink them. It sees the, uh, the file name and can automatically relink those. And it will see if it's been modified or if it's a different version, so to speak. So now we hit OK. And you see all the images are relinked. Everything is now in place and ready for, well, arguably printing or sending to the next party in the workflow in any event if we want to package this file up. Relink images in Adobe InDesign. This tip is for CS6, CS5, or CS5.5. This happens to be CS5 in this case, but it works the same in, in all the different versions of InDesign. You see in the background our new product, PDF to InDesign. Check that out today. That's a quick way to convert or edit PDFs right in the source application, that being in this case InDesign. So I can actually take a logo or a complete document and open it right up within Adobe InDesign. Really, really useful. All right, this has been David Dilling from Marksware and this quick tip on how to relink images in Adobe InDesign. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah.